How do you balance that kind of life? What's the honest answer? That you don't? Realistic expectations not to have balance? <laughs> I honestly think that's that right there is the number one thing that helped me in the past year and especially recently. Certain people are able to handle that and certain people are not. And I know, I knew that I wasn't gonna have like a stable home to come into because I've been moving. I knew I was never gonna be able to get into routine because I was traveling every single weekend. I knew, especially because I'm in an office all week and then trying to train. And then every weekend when I have days off, I'm in an airport traveling in a hotel, no good gym, any of this stuff. So beforehand, I just expected myself to feel overwhelmed and allowed myself to feel overwhelmed and tried not to feel like I should be feeling as good as I would feel in a routine obviously everyone feels better in routine just a fact so not being in it being able to tell myself it's just the season of life 28 years old the fucking dopest life i could have ever imagined genuinely so grateful that i get to travel and do all this shit i do and being able to pull out and have that perspective of gratitude rather than just like stress it's really helped me a lot What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the gym. Day after leg day, my legs are fucking toast right now. For some reason, my traps hurt like a biatch as well. This last week, I was in Brazil for like six days. We're hoping to expand raw into the Brazil. Super pumped about all that. But I went down to Ramon's supplement company's private gym and trained with Ramon there. And he was telling me he had just taken like a month or two off training as well. In his broken English, that's what I gathered. And I was telling him I just took two months off training as well. And it's hilarious, he was saying he can't eat too much and he needs to relax because he gets too big and he's not gonna fucking, he's gonna be an open bodybuilder. And the guy literally took two months off and grew since the Olympia, which is like, he's huge, massive. I took two months off and just shrink and lose all my fucking strength. Still having some strength, but a lot of my size just disappears. So don't have those kind of crazy ass genetics to just be fucking round and bubbly like that. But he's got an Arnold in like six, seven weeks. He's doing the Arnold. I got the Olympia in like nine months. So that guy's a maniac. I'd be stressing right now if I hadn't started that early out, but he knows what he's doing. He's got to make weight. So following the plan, but it was good seeing him. Let a little fire into my ass to stop training like a little bitch and get back to it. So that being said, another arm day, day before I leave to go snowboarding. Not going to be super intense. I'm going to go heavy, intense not super high volume. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna do minimal exercises, higher intensity. That's what I'm trying to say. So, did a bunch of warm ups, gonna do some bicep curls and get on with the workout. All right, so the goal here, trying to do like a mechanical drop set. So I'm doing close grip, three second eccentric movement from the first round. And then I switch my grip to go a little bit wider. I do the same thing, three second concentric, eccentric, sorry. And then next time I just fucking wrap it up as much as I can. So I'm doing one, two, three different style of sets within the same set. And just trying to burn the shit out of my biceps. Yeah, it's like trying to stress about like going to travel to build my business, trying to be a good bodybuilder, having a fucking 
little baby girl. It's all things that I've dreamed of or couldn't even have dreamed of. So just kind of being excited for it. You know, when I'm old and there's no more business and bodybuilding and travel and the kids are old, I can relax and try and not be overwhelmed at that time. But right now I'm just grateful that what's overwhelming me is all really fun, exciting things that realistically I've chosen <coughs> to put into my life. And so why, why complain about it? But I know Courtney is much more of a, a routine homebody than myself. So when she starts to feel like out of that whack, she's a little bit more stressed out. And that's why she typically is the homebody. She's kind of keeping the home as safe for me as possible to come home to. It's not safe, it's grounded as possible. So I can come home and there's clean, there's food cooked, laundry's done, all the little things I don't have to worry about. Is another little secret tip that helps me feel grounded is having a partner who supports you. Obviously she wishes I could be home right now, but I'm also, like I said, 28 years old, working to set up our whole family's life for the entire future, and she understands that. So what I need to work on is when I come home, I don't really feel like I'm overwhelmed, but I need to detach enough so that I can reattach to her. Because it's easy to kind of grow disconnected in a relationship when you're spending so much time apart and there's so much going on in life. And she's trying to focus on the baby and I'm focusing on her and work and business and travel and everything. So us being a lot more conscientious of planning little date nights and quality time together and all these little things helps everything come into fruition you know the having a grounded home to come back to a partner to come back to in the life of chaos is like the biggest cheat code of being able to thrive under chaos <laughs> All right, so I did similar thing on the tricep extensions, like a mechanical drop set, standing far away. You're weaker, move closer, you're stronger. Finish out with some cheat reps just to pump it out. Now I'm doing like a cable high pulley bicep curl. And I'm trying to like lock it in without moving my shoulder at all. And then really squeeze my bicep by flexing my shoulder a little bit. Get a tight squeeze, drop setting that with super setting that with some hammer curls with heavy weight. I'm trying to get big arms. So see how this goes. Maybe I'll have 23 inch arms like Hulk Hogan by the end of the year.
All right, last exercise of the day. One set, can go to do, do a good old run the rack bicep curls. Enjoy it. Also forgot to mention, doing a restock of some raw shirts in new colorway. So some of the favorite raw shirts we dropped in the past, but in new colorways, this is one of them. So I don't know what day that's dropping, but Calvin probably knows better than me. So it's coming soon, but I'm gonna finish up this bicep workout, arm workout, Let's go home and eat some bagels. Matt Jansen used to always send me these quotes because he would see them all over the internet and he's like, I feel like this is you, bro. The quote of being able to thrive under chaos, being able to be calm within a storm. And I think that's something that I've been relatively good at my whole life. And it was a good amount of experience for the past few years. A bunch of shit storms hit me in the middle of Olympia when it matters most and understanding that stuff is out of your control. And yeah, you know, life is a game of odds. There's a few things that aren't up to odds and possibility, like, discipline you have the work you put in your effort all these things and then so much other stuff is left up to chance it's just whatever the universe throws at you you have no control over so all you can do is perfect the things that are in your control as best as you can and roll with the punches as they come so the little fucking life advice there from father sebum hopefully pass these on to my kids to learn it even more effectively than me because i've definitely been hella stressed out throughout the year and at times but I'm still able to bring myself da back down the ground back down to earth and get through this shit. And now I feel like I'm in a really good spot mentally to handle everything that's coming at me. And I'm just excited, you know? I've also been planning this year to be able to have some off time in April when my baby's born. And I'm just gonna stay home, be in the gym, get fucking jacked, hang out with my baby girl and my wife and have a grand old time. So excited for that. Excited to show you guys that journey of me becoming a father as well within all this. It's gonna be cool. So life's up to odds, control what's not in the odds. The only secret I got right now and have a fucking amazing partner who's got your back and can keep you grounded and your home grounded. It's very important. And enjoy the chaos when you're young because it's beautiful. So with that being said, peace out. Heading to Aspen tomorrow to go snowboarding. Second, that's my last secret. Find something at least once a year that you fucking love to do where you can detach. For me, that's snowboarding on the mountain. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. I will see you guys after that. Hopefully come back refreshed and ready to rock. Maybe I'll do a vlog out there. Calvin wants me to, but he knows I suck at that, so we'll see. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. See you next time.